This is Amish Kiran from Kriya Academy for Learning Bangalore. Van Mahotsav. We had celebrated Van Mahotsav from July 1st and concluded it on July 7, 2021. It's very important to remember some people who have contributed to make the earth green. One person from our state Karnataka has turned 10 acres of barren land into a paradise. She is named Kavita Mishra. She has converted 10 acres of barren land by organic farming and drip irrigation to a piece of heaven. 20 years back, she had got a job offer of rupees 40,000 with invoices, but she declined it. Got married and came to her husband's house. It was a barren land and was very, barely able to produce half a bag of greens. Now it has become a paradise. She has grown 800 fruit, 8,000 fruit bearing trees in, 10, in that 10 acres. She has also grown 2,100 sandalwood trees. Her contribution to making the earth green has also inspired many people. In this time, I would like to remember a person who has done a miracle. A 65-year-old man named Jadav Payeng was conferred the title The Forest Man in Delhi by the Government of India on World Earth Day in 2010 for turning a barren land of 560 hectares over 1,300 acres into a lush green forest all by himself. It took close to 30 years for the land to turn into a forest and Jadav is protective about it. He started planting in 1979 and continues doing that even today. According to wildlife experts, forest now attracts 80% of the world's migratory birds and has been declared as by wildlife experts. It's officially called Molai Forest. The locals call it Molai as a tribute to Jadav. Jadav said, People want to know my story. I tell them I just plant trees and I like all of you to do so. Trees are the lifeline of the forest. They don't just give us shade and oxygen. They feed birds and animals and balance our ecosystem. If there is no life left, what's the use of all the advancements we've made? Since he was poor and seeds were expensive at that time, he used to cut sticks off a tree, collect them and plant them in the desert. In 1979, Plus washed a large number of snakes ashore on the sandbar of the river Brahmaputra near Jorhat in Assam, India. After the waters had receded, 16-year-old Jadav Payeng solved the dead reptiles that changed his life forever. The snakes died in the heat without any tree cover. I sat down and wept over their lifeless forms. It was carnage. I alerted the forest department and asked them if they could grow trees there. They said nothing would grow there. Instead, they asked me to try growing bamboo. It was painful, but I did it. There was nobody to help me. Nobody was interested, says Fying. The sandbar is on Marjli, the world's largest liver island, which has a population of 150,000. Since 1917, half the landmass of Marjli has been lost to erosion. Payeng started living on the sandbar and, in a few years, created a bamboo thicket. Then he decided to grow proper trees. Over the years, a forest of 550 has come up with a variety of flora and fauna. Now more than 100 elephants live in the forest for three months a year. Endangered species like the one-horned rhino and royal Bengal tiger have been seen in the forest. Vultures and migratory birds have appeared too. The local people, whose homes were destroyed by the elephants, wanted to cut down the forest. Payeng dared them to kill him instead because he treats the trees and animals like his own children. Payeng has been planting trees for three decades. It was only in 2009 that Jitu Kalita, a ph photographer journalist, discovered Payeng and his forest. Jitu wrote an article about Payeng and the world came to know about the unique forest created by one man. Since then, Payeng has become famous, received many awards, and then the President of India, Dr. A.P.G. Abdul Kalam, bestowed on him the title Forest Man of India. The government gave him the title of Padma Shri. Payeng still lives in a modest thatched house and goes to tree planting every day. But he worries about the fate of the world. 
He all he knows also that in 15 to 20 years, Marjali Island may disappear altogether. He has ideas on how to protect Marjali to offer up F a forestation, but no one listens to him. The state government has so far not provided with any financial assistance to him to implement his idea. Thank you.